Hello Edu Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time here at Edu Explorer, we will go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you had some time to review our previous videos. Today we shall be looking at the most expensive cities in the African continent. Of course there are lots of information have been put together. We have been looking into uh, different cities across the continent and we shall review them in different criteria, and we should bring that to you by the end of this video you will have a better understanding as to reason why these particular cities make the top most expensive cities across the african continent the latest ranking showcases the top cities on the continent for expatriate uh, different data have been put together but what we're going to be looking at now we will focus on the data gathering uh, organization called MESA. We will match their information and also we will be analyzing it into the basics to make sure that you have a clear picture as to why those cities uh, top that particular list. MESA is the leading provider of data on cost of living and housing for employees sent to work abroad. As part of the ongoing research, MESA released the annual rankings of the cost of living in more than just, just over 200 cities across the world. Uh, most of those prevalent assignments are destinations are for expatriate and employees moving to work beyond borders. The ranking demonstrates how currency fluctuations and shifts in the prices of goods and services can affect the purchasing power of expatriates and employees. Multinational companies rely on messes for timely and accurate information to compensate their skilled professionals who take on assignments or international assignments in different destinations around the world. If you are new here to our channel, we encourage you to subscribe and share our videos so we can grow this platform. Without any delay, we should just go straight into it. Number one, Jamina Chad. Jamina has an estimated population of just under 1 million. Only 26% of the country's population lives in urban areas. It ranks 11th on the global scale of most expensive cities. Chad has an unwavering distributed population, with the highest density in the Logon Occidental region and the capital, raising the cost of living is extremely high. Essentially, the vast majority of Chad's land mass is covered by Sahara deserts. And insecurity also in the particular Lake Chad area has forced many to migrate or move to the capital city. This caused lots of density of population interaction and in that case drive the property market and housing and cost of living prices in different areas to skyrocket to the roof. So Germina is topping the list in the African continent to be the most expensive city to live into. Number two. Victoria, Seychelles. Economic growth in Seychelles has moved the tourist destination country to upper middle income status. Victoria is the 14th coolest city in the world. High cost of goods and services in the capital city Victoria is largely due to the line or it's mostly uh, due to in the flocks of tourists who flood the tiny islands to purchase high items without making uh, competition being uh, some kind of a thing which the locals are not able to compete with those coming from abroad. In Victoria, you are likely, likely going to be charged based on the dollar rate, hence poor purchasing power. This is on something which locals are not able to match up and that's causing uh, property prices, uh, different things uh, going up. Uh, the cost of living, hotels are skyrocketing over the roof and in this case, uh, seizure based on the MESA data was classified as the most expensive, second most expensive city, uh, which is the Victoria in seizures. Number three, Kinshasa in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The capital Kinshasa, which is the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the capital city of the East African country is 22nd on the list, making it the third on the continent's most expensive city to live in. The city's population is estimated around 11 million. Economists project growth of just over 4.7% uh, in the 2020, but with regards to the coronavirus 
in the moment, I think that's going to be affecting the projection rate, which is going to be a challenge for this country to expand its growth. In this case, it's moved up to 0.1%, uh, projecting that it's also very difficult for them to achieve the projected uh, estimates for them to move on to the 4.6%, which everyone was hoping that uh, they should be projecting in 2021. For that reason, Kinshasa is very expensive. Uh, the property prices are skyrocketing and also the living conditions with over 11 point, just over 11 million people living in the capital Kinshasa. It's causing a lot of congestion. It's affecting the purchasing power of experts coming from abroad are competing really highly with high-end goods, uh, which is uh, the locals are not able to meet up. In that case, uh, property prices, homes, food, cost of living, transportation, and awful other things are at top of the roof. In this case, Kinshasa make the test most expensive city in Africa. Number four, Libreville in Gabon. The city ranked 24th on the list, and like many other countries, the double digit inflation for the predominantly rural population makes the capital difficult for dwellers. It is very expensive. For those who have visited Gabon, uh, Libreville is a very expensive city. The hotel and also the living conditions are extremely high. Um, most experts that travel to uh, Gabon, they may have purchasing power based on the type of job that they do hold. And in that case, they have an opportunity for them to, uh, to regulate the way that they're gonna be uh, making their payments and how they can uh, organize themselves to live in kind of a way to meet up with the living cost. Hotels, housing, food, prices for all basic items are ex extremely expensive. So we, in this particular case, um, Gabon, uh, Libreville topped the 24th most expensive city in Africa. Number five, Lagos in Nigeria. With a population of over 24 million, Lagos is fast becoming a cosmopolitan city. Yet, with features of shanty towns, housing and poor urban planning and management, as well as high population density, makes life expensive. To live like a middle class, you need more than just a job. The concentration of industries has also made the city the last resort for individuals seeking uh, greener pastures away from the hinterlands. In this particular case, millions of people move from different parts across Nigeria to hustle in the city of Lagos and to look for their daily bread. And in that case, uh, the congestion rate is unbelievably high and the property cost, uh, living conditions, uh, all utilities and lots of other things uh, made Lagos to be one of the most expensive city or the fifth most expensive city uh, in the African continent. Uh, there are lots of criteria that were put together as well to make uh, Lagos to become number five because generally Lagos fall in the second in the two digit area um, together with a Libreville. These are the cities in Africa, the top five most expensive cities across the African continent based on Mesa data. We've reviewed all why the cities uh, make this particular uh, list and for several reasons, uh, based on property prices, based on experts income coming from different countries from around the world and living in those countries. And this data has been assembled together to make sure these five countries uh, top the list. If you feel that there is a country that or city in Africa that left we've left out uh, based on our assessment, if you feel that there is a city that has most expensive, for example, uh, based on the different uh, criteria we've mentioned, we would like to hear from you. Otherwise, we would thank you for joining us again, and we are looking forward to meeting you through our channel again. If you are new here, we encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Thanks for watching, and we're looking forward to meeting you again then. Bye-bye.